Hi, I'm Phil, and I am a journalism instructor. Uh, I work in education and broadcast media, and I would give Splash Talk Business Access a five out of five stars. When the pandemic hit, I had to really transition to work from home, uh, which was a, a bit of an issue because I needed access to a desktop computer. Uh, I had a laptop and it worked fine, but I wasn't able to do a lot of robust video editing. I needed a lot more RAM, a lot more processing power than any laptop uh, that I could afford provided. Uh, and so at first I thought, well, I'll just try the Microsoft uh, built-in you know, system to share your screen. Uh, and I, I was able to kind of get that to work, but only when I was on the same wireless network. Next I tried uh, Google Chrome Remote Desktop, and that worked remarkably well uh, at first, I thought. Uh, what I did with it is I was able to connect to my school's uh, Wi-Fi wi network each time I went to a different building when I was on that specific Wi-Fi that was all kind of connected, it worked. I took it home, I couldn't connect at all to my remote desktop and nothing, none of the, the free or cheap services that I looked at, or I, I even sampled a few or higher end of, you know, sample uh, the, the test trial runs of some of the other ones and, and I just couldn't get anything to work for me. After trying a few different products, I finally just decided, you know what, I need some help. And so I asked our IT department, you know, what's going on? Why can I not connect? And the simple answer was, none of these programs that you've tried does the job you want it to do and won't allow you to connect and do uh, the processing that you want. And so they gave me a list of recommendations, and one of those was Splashtop. And it was honestly the last one I looked at because it was the cheapest. And so, and I thought, well, it's, it's the cheapest one. Is it really going to work well? And sure enough, it worked the best. I downloaded the free trial. I put it on uh, my, my desktop computer, followed all the prompts, then put it on my phone and uh, my personal computer at home. First thing when I got home that day, I logged in and connected right away. And I was able to not just connect and see what was going on on my desktop, I was able to access my files. I was able to open high-end, you know, professional video product, products such as uh, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Animate, uh, After Effects that usually take up a lot of processing power. I was able to edit a video for my students from my home personal laptop, but it was all living on my work desktop that is much more powerful and was able to do all the rendering and all of the exporting in just the same amount of time as it would be if I was sitting right behind my desk. Once you download Splashtop, it was a very simple process. You download it uh, onto your computer and make sure that's all connected. You download it on the device you want to uh, connect via using, whether it's, you know, I've got it on, you know, my personal laptop, a tablet, my phone even, uh, in another uh, office location uh, at a different school building. I've installed it on a laptop there, so I'm able to go wherever I want and, and use it. You, you have a couple of different options uh, whenever you're actually connecting. You can either connect as like a mouse mode or as a touch mode, and so it gives you a lot of really uh, freedom to maneuver around your screen. You can resize your screen so as big or as small as you want it. I have ultra wide monitors that I edit on and so whenever you put those onto a phone or a tablet they get real tiny but Splashtop allows you to zoom in to kind of a real time uh, regular view of that screen so you're able to really maneuver around and you're able to just really do some kind of complicated uh, intricate work. I mean we're talking uh, video editing where you're talking you know frames of video that you're having to kind of sort through and make sure that those stay together and there's really almost no lag time at all which makes the the connection work really well and that's what really makes it successful for me. So if you're looking for a remote desktop uh, application, I mean obviously search through your free stuff first and see whether it works for you. But if you really want to do something robust and really want to have good access, I would say look at Splashtop. Again, I looked at some of the more expensive options that my IT department recommended because I just assumed that more expensive meant better. But Splashtop, I think it was only like 60 some bucks a month uh, or a year, not even a month. It's you, you pay a very small fee per year to use this and you're connected. And especially in this uh, day and age where we're looking at you know virtual learning, virtual uh, office space, 
This allowed me to not have to lug around a full desktop computer to every location I needed to go, but I still had access to those files on my desktop whenever I needed them. If I was in a different city, uh, in a different location, I could easily pull up uh, the file that I was looking for, you know, right there on my phone or tablet or laptop, whatever I needed. And so I think what you really need to look for whenever you're trying to decide a remote desktop application is what are your needs and is it is it a little more complex than just screen sharing? And if it's a little more complex than what your Mac or your uh, Windows device can provide, you know, I would say look into Splashtop because just because it's it's very affordable doesn't mean it's not pretty powerful.